front umbrella. Good afternoon, Spartan Nation. We are here once again at East Long Meadow High School for the matchup between the four and four East Long Meadow Spartans and the three and six Long Meadow Lancers. On the mound today for the Spartans, senior Connor Robidoux. He haven't seen you since April 3rd, I believe, was the last game that we did, somewhere around there. Yeah, what were they, two and one, three and one after that game? They were one and one, I think, because we did the first game and the second game, I believe. Oh, nice. Climbing the ladder. Jump grab by Trace Giffington. Talk about the weather the first time uh, in the first inning of the last two games that we did. It's currently raining, <laughs> sprinkling, I would more say. But So first game we had blustery, then second game we had pretty decent, and now we got rain, getting the combination. I know. <laughs> so Mr. Robidoux, we're going to see a ton of sliders again today. He's got a nice little slider that he throws most of the time. Yep. So Long Meadow played Monday and Tuesday back to back and they won both games, shockingly. First two game winning streak of the season, they beat Northampton, I believe it was eight nothing on, I believe it, no, Chickabee eight nothing on Monday. Northampton, they beat three to two on Tuesday as this ball is going to just narrowly miss the tennis courts. The boys' tennis team is practicing right now, so better look out. Tennis players, be aware. <laughs> I am Abby LePage, joined alongside my dad, Don LePage. Thank you very much for joining us this rainy afternoon. Field's actually in pretty good condition. The grounds crew did a nice job. No crowd today, last game there was, as Longmeadows batter is gonna be hit by the pitch. That's Brady Fellows. That was a slider that did not slide. Mm. <clears throat> Everyone's gearing up for the boys of the cross. They have their senior night tonight, so congrats to all the seniors. There's a ton of them, I believe, on lacrosse this spring season, so congrats to them in advance. Thanks. Runner goes. Put and the runner on the move there. Yep. Fellows advances to second and Kroll makes the out at first base. Up for Long Meadow, Max Russo. See how Connor does today with his, since he's a slider pitcher and the ball's gonna be a little wet. Mm. Could cause some problems today, so we'll see how he handles the grip on the ball. Russo in 21 plate appearances this season as a 316 batting average. Routine grounder. Yep, second in a row, and that'll end the inning for the Spartans.
pitching for the Lancers is Will Hurley. As he, as Dobek faces a strike, first pitch. Nice curveball there. Mm. <laughs> On deck, senior Connor Robidoux. One and two. Little overthrow there. Just tried to throw <laughs> it a little too hard. And Dobek will strike out swinging. Run away with the heat. Glad the Sox are off today. They might have also faced a, a rain delay out in Boston. Oh, they're not playing tonight? Nope. Thank God. Need the, need the days off. Robidoux up to bat with Skiffington on deck. Robidu not liking that call from the first base ump, but they said he won. Hurley in 14 innings pitched has allowed seven hits, three earned runs, seven walks, and 20 strikeouts. It's a nice stat line. Yeah. And I'll add another one in Connor Robidoux. Two out, Skiffington up to bat. I can't tell if that strike was called on the swing or. Yeah, I'm not sure. If it was called on the pitch. Might have went on that one because it looked a bit outside. Big swing and a miss. Kroll on deck now, the freshman. If you recall, of course, the hero in the game against West Springfield earlier in the month. Chasing that one down in the dirt. Gotta protect the plate here with two strikes. Throws the hook on him, gets him to swing and miss. This long meadow team is coached by Mike Athis. And up to bat first is going to be Robert Bouchard for them. Bouchard's pitched a little as well, going nine innings, allowing two hits, no earned runs, 10 walks, and 16 strikeouts. According to Max Preps, this is. Fortunately, Isong Meadow doesn't have the same. Isong Meadow doesn't have stats at all on there, but. <laughs> Bouchard in his 23 plate appearances has a 375 batting average. A 
Okay, I flinched a little bit on that. <laughs> Came right at us. An overthrow by catcher Connor Donovan over to first baseman Kate Boydston. And yeah, it made the first baseman jump up a little high, but I thought he came down on the bag and got him just before the runner because the runner slowed down big time. Yeah, East Long Meadow having a word with the ump, but. Coach DeFranco got his ruling on why he made that call, and he seems to be somewhat satisfied. Mm. So one man on first of the game. It's Long Meadow and up to bat here for the Lancers. It is Jaden Lavelle. Laviel. We'll go with that. Could be a routine double play ball. Just hit a little bit too slowly for him to turn a double play there, but that was a nice exchange. I mean, a little low on the exchange, but ball's hit too slow to get to. Mm. I, I believe I heard the ump say Interference. Yeah, what's going on? Both runners off the bags. Oh, he called the interference on the runner? They must have called the interference on the guy going in the second base, didn't get down mm. or out of the way. So we get a double play out of that. Very nice. Good call, Abby. I didn't. I just caught that from I didn't the up. I see that. Good job. And Long Meadow goes down swinging. There's Quinn Henry up to bat for Long Meadow now. Brings up Sean Kroll for East Long Meadow. Freshman Sean Kroll. One ticket on the mound is Will Hurley for the Lancers. Once again, go down swinging. This will bring up Cade Boydston, the senior. And in the last game that we did, uh, got two two balls to the head. So <laughs> seems to have recovered nicely. Yeah. Dribbler and the Lancers can't make the play. That was Quinn Henry. We just saw up to bat. Last inning for the Lancers. Third baseman couldn't make the play. So Boydson will be safe at first. This will bring up senior Connor Donovan. So what are you seeing from Hurley so far in his pitches? 
Oh, he looks good. He's spotting the ball fairly well. He's moving his targets up, down, changing the eye level of the, for the batter. Donovan will just oh, catch nice a piece of that. nice job going the other way. And he will come in safe at first. One out, man on second and first. This will bring up Jack Woodward, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. A pinch runner for the catcher. Yep, it's Dylan Grosso, the senior. We saw him pinch run a couple times, I believe, in the last two games that we did. Stop. Try to put a ball in play here. Mm -hmm. Oh, pick off play at second. Almost. <laughs> Abby the rain's picking up again. <laughs> yep, certainly is. Oh, nice deuce. On the outside corner. This will bring up Dominic Burak. Yeah, Woodward agreed with that. Good pitch. the nibble with that curveball on the outside corner. Mm. Tough to lay off of. So two outs, still men on first and second for the Spartans. Going straight up. Oh, I can't find it. Nope. And the run Second will baseman score. totally lost it. Spartans hold Grasso at third base, but Burak will head into first safely. It's one nothing Spartans. Abby, it's that sky. That's a tough sky right now. It's kind of the color of the ball. Uh -huh. So the second baseman totally lost sight of that ball when it went up. Short for stop. effort. Shortstop did not recognize that till late, and he tried to come over. But yep, diving play was made. But Spartans catch a break. Neveling on that corner. Mm. Moves the ball in and out very nicely to the batters. Big swing and a miss. This is Christian Harding up to bat for the Spartans. So we got Grasso in scoring position on third. Burek on first. And he's going to go. At the cutoff play. On, Safely strides into second, so... Burak now on second and Grasso on third. Two men in scoring position. A little base hit here, possibly plate two runners. Nailed them on the outside corner there with that fastball. Mm. Moves the ball in and out very well. Up and down, in and out. And Harden will strike, Harding, sorry, excuse me, will strike out looking. So it's one nothing Spartans after two. It's starting to come down a bit harder here, the rain. 
I believe Hurley might have struck out the side again there. I know there's at least two strikeouts. Did he have a third one? Can't remember. A Who's the first batter at that inning? Sean. Yeah, he struck out. So I think it was three strikeouts. He struck out the side. He's got six strikeouts in two innings, Will Hurley. Wow. Add that to his. I'm starting to I think he's the ace of the staff. <laughs> yeah, add that to his 20 already, according to Max Preps. So 26 on the season. Yeah, he has the most innings pitched out of the Lancers squad. Next is Fellows. Was 12. This will go high. And over the fencing. It's Alexander Torres up to bat for the Lancers. Slider down, down and away. Sliders look so good coming in. As soon as they release, they look like a fastball and it just dives away from the right-handed hitter. That one was in tight. That's the key to pitching, moving it up, down, giving different eye levels, different locations in the plate, in and out. That's how you get batters thinking. This will bring up Tom O'Donnell. Make solid contact, but Kroll with the easy play over to first. <laughs> Not so easy. And O'Donnell is safe at first. Boyson had to make another leap to catch the ball. Did he touch the bag even? Yeah, he got a piece of the ball. Just when you throw the ball into the runner, it's a little, first baseman get a little nervous, get it colliding, so. So this will bring up Bryant Lopez. More solid uh, contact, uh, but I was ripped Bowell right at their the coach at third. <laughs> third baseman coach for the Lanthers just narrowly dodged out of the way. Gotta be ready. You gotta pay attention in baseball, that's for sure. You been a third base coach when you're coaching? Oh yeah. You gotta pay attention. You ever caught one while you're coaching out there? Yeah, sometimes it's not. It hurts. It's an instinct to reach out and try to catch the ball and you realize you don't have a glove. Are you talking about like if I caught one in the head? Not necessarily oh, the okay. head. All right. Yeah, no, that never happened. Oh, the rain slowed down a little bit here. I don't see anything but clouds, though. Oh, he didn't slide. He did not slide, and that cost him there. Did not slide, went up standing up for some reason. Is that what caused the interference last inning? That he didn't slide? Yeah, if he didn't slide and or turn to get out of the baseline mm -hmm. so that the second baseman or shortstop could make the throw. It's an automatic interference call. Yep. So no more runners for the Lancers as they pick them off at second. And <laughs> oh, 
Another slider and it didn't slide. You can definitely see that the grip is getting Changing harder. Changing balls here. Yeah. Nasty slider. And this time the throw to first by Donovan will be successful. They retire the side. This will bring back up the top of the lineup for the Spartans and Brady Dobek. Fouled off. That was a nice deuce right there, I tell you. Good 12 to sixer. Not a huge break, but tight and sharp. Their first non-strike out out of the game. And a pretty good play by the first baseman. Had to lean in a bit to catch that. It was down, but. Nonetheless, Stolbeck will be out at first, and it will bring up Connor Robidu. That one came for Jamie's feet. And that'll head in the dirt as well. In and out, in and out. Count two and two. Oh, my contact with that, but good grab by the Lancers. That's, That's kind of spinning around in different directions, but he made the play. Yeah, Charlie McElhaney for the Lancers made the grab, and this will bring up Trey Skiffington. Two out, same position he was in in the first. Let's see what he can do. Easy play for the Lancers, and Skiffington is out at first. Yeah, I mean, that was three of the quickest innings. <laughs> I know. I think I've ever witnessed. Top of the lineup for Longmeadow as well here. It's Brady Fellows. Top of the lineup. I just said that. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Abigail. I don't think Longmeadow got a hit in that, right? So I think he's. Yeah, they just got in on. Errors, right? Well, what was the force play at second? Did that guy get on in a hit, or did it, was it a walk? I can't remember. No, I don't think there have been any walks. Just errors, like at first base. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, oh. 
Nice tray playing him nicely. Yeah, pretty much right to him. Positioned well by Coach DeFranco. And this will bring up Charlie McElhaney. Yes, the blue is moving towards us, Abby. Cloud's almost gone. Oh, he tagged that, that one. Great contact made. And that one is, finds the wall. Thrown in, but. That was a slider that just kind of stayed flat in the middle of the plate, and he crushed that. Mm. McElhaney will be easily safe at second. Throwing from the outfield came from Woodward. A strength in her lineup coming up here, three, four, five. Yep, it's Max Russo. Nice job by first baseman K there. He held the bag, even though that wasn't a good throw either. Mm. I don't know if the ball is slipping out of these guys' hands on the throw, but it's been some wild throws over to first base. Oh, yeah. You'd have to hope so. <laughs> the long meadow isn't too pleased with the call at first. I thought it was a good call. Just got the bag. Just held on to it long enough. Mm. Talk about strength in the lineup, excuse me. It's Robert Bouchard up for Longmeadow. Number four. Tying run over at third base. Ah, yes, didn't mention that, but McElhaney made it down to third. Nice slider, just nipped the outside corner, got the call from the ump. Mm. See if he can put him away here. I didn't get him to bite there. Yeah. So it's, it's good, full count. Good layoff there. Tough pitch to lay off of. Nice slider, outside corner. Big pitch. Yep, good at bat from Bouchard, but. Great job by Robidu to get out of that one. <laughs> so again, this will bring up Sean Kroll to start the inning. Bottom in the fourth. Bottom of the fourth already. The game just started like about half an hour ago. It's like Major League Baseball right here. It's flying by like there's a pitch clock. Oh.
Those are similar locations, yeah. Mm. It's like he's got at least four pitches. I've seen him shake off the catcher three times, a couple times. So mm. has the fastball, curveball, slider, changeup. There's a triple shake. Way in tight for a count two and one. Nice run and play by the outfielder for Long Meadow. That's Bouchard again. Yeah, he did not have him to play dead pole, so he had a little ways to go to get that one, but mm. ran it down. Got the first out of the inning. It'll bring up Cade Boydston. The sun is out now. It's still raining. We are playing sunny baseball in the rain, Abby. Where's the rainbow at? There's got to be one coming up. Good take. I definitely, <laughs> when as soon as he let that go, he said, man, that's a hanger right there. And he ripped it, but just right at the shortstop. Mm. Loki a good catch down low in the dirt. I was questioning a bit if he let that drop, but he didn't. And this will bring up Connor Donovan. He's got a smooth delivery. I like what I see out of this guy. Mm. Morning, good afternoon, and good night. I was going to say, was that three pitches? Three, three pitches. pitches. Still on the mound for the Spartans to start the fifth inning is going to be Connor Robidoux. Quick four, still one nothing Spartans. Spartans, I counted up uh, the amount of runs they scored compared to the amount of runs they have allowed. They're they haven't they've been outscored by their opponents, 50 to 48. So in Longmeadow, in comparison, and this is in seven games, while well, the Spartans have. Or actually, excuse me, uh, nine games. Uh, Longmeadow has been even with their scoring. They've scored 33 runs and allowed 33 runs. Wow. So there are some interesting comparisons 
Um, so it seems like Longmeadow has problems offensively this year. Yep. And this seems like they got good pitching and good defense. Jaden LaVale up to bat for the Lancers. Yeah, so the Lancers' biggest win of the season so far has been their 13 to eight win over Amherst. In comparison, we beat Amherst 14 nothing last week, I believe. Took that slider and took it the other way. Nice job of hitting there. Hard contact made. Connor just left that one up just a little bit, so he was just able to get his bat on that one. And so as I mentioned, it's Donovan now back at catcher. We're leaving Harding. It's Quinn Henry up to bat for the Lancers. I didn't realize Chris, Chris was catching. Oh, well, it was just because Donovan uh, took the last at bat and of when they were hitting last oh. inning. Oh. So. Got it. The Lancers finally learned their lesson and slide. Lavelle slides into second base safe. Punt the Tying run over to third base. Less than two outs. Let's see how Coach DeFranco plays this. If he's going to bring the infield in, or mm. that was a good bunt. It appears like he's bringing them in. He's facing a pretty good pitcher in Will Hurley, so he's trying to keep that tying run from scoring. This is Alexander Torres. As he faced a ball up high. sequence here. Ooh, nice play by Donovan to keep that ball in front of him. Yep. That was big. And 
Yeah, um, confirms the count. It's two and one. That one to me looked like he left it a little bit up and over to play and he just swung right through that one. Mm. So we're even at two. Nice, that's a good one. Big strikeout there, Abby, big strikeout. Absolutely, tying run still at third. Now the defense can play back, regular position. Mm. Two outs. So will bring up Tom O'Donnell. Oof, outside corner. That slider squirted away from the catcher there. Yep, and Donovan, Donovan unable to protect that one. Tying run comes in, it's one and one. One to one. And they'll walk O'Donnell. This will bring up Lopez again. Let's see if Longmeadow tries to get a runner in the scoring position here. Mm. Got the momentum going their way. Easy snag by Robidoux, and this will bring up the bottom of the fifth. East Long Meadow with some fire under them to finally bring in some more runs. Certainly the one nothing lead wasn't one too hard to defend, but. Need to get that one back. Woodward up to bat for the Spartans. Solid contact made. And the catch is unable to be made. So Woodward will trot into second easily. And it's a leadoff double.
But that's still Bouchard out there. This time he wasn't able to make the outfield grab. That's big for the Spartans. Yeah, that was a ball stayed up a little bit in the zone and Mr. Woodward tagged it. And this will bring up Dom Burek. Let's see what Coach DeFranco puts on here. If we're going to bunt them over or if they're just going to try to have the batter hit the ball to the right side. Oh. That is an unproductive out right there. Yep. Doesn't advance the runner. Still only one out. It's Christian Harding up to bat for the Spartans. After him, it's going to be the top of the order again in Dobek. Another one fouled off. High and away. Still, of course, Will Hurley on the mound for the Lancers. Still throwing well. Mm -hmm. Tried to get him in the nibble. Mm. Good 0 2 pitch there. So we're one and two Woodward at second. Oh, I'm chased the high one there. Hmm. He laid off the laid off it one time. So two outs and scoring position, and it's Brady Dobek. Solid contact. Gets past the infield. Nice. Scores a go-ahead run. Just enough to get by the second baseman. Absolutely. Heads up play by Woodward, too. Good base running. And it's two to one Spartans. Dobek. Place that where we would have wanted Dom to put it earlier. So, nonetheless, the run scores, and this will bring up Robert. Everything is forgotten. The run came in. No. Nice hook there. Good jump by Mr. Doe back over there, steal second base. Yep. Another hit, maybe we can get ourselves another run here. Count on Dobek with the speed, though he did dislodge the base, it looks like. Yeah, they're on magnets, so safety reasons, so. Another hook right on the outside corner. Mm. So Dovek in scoring position, still two outs.
fouled off and just out of play. He's working them, working them in and working them out. Yeah, good at bat from everybody. Good deuce to put him away. L12 to sixer. So the Spartans regain the lead in the fifth after allowing the tying run. Let's see what the Lancers can do in the sixth. Not a high scoring game, something you'd expect from what these two teams have showed throughout this season so far. Because Spartans did play on Monday. They lost to Westfield, was it? Three to two. So once again, Robidoux on the mound for the sixth. And it's Fellows up to bat for the Lancers. That one hits the roof of ELHS. That was close. Mm. Fighting it off. Solid contact made, and Fellows is easily into first. This brings up McElhaney. Let's see what Long Meadow chooses to do here. Mm. Will they bunt over or will they steal? Delaney in 21 plate appearances prior to this game. 176 batting average. <laughs> yep, that's going to drop in front of Dobek. The back hits. Both runners safe, first and second. Big for the Lancers. As once again, the Spartans might regret not taking advantage last inning of 
the scoring opportunities they had to not extend their lead. This will bring up Max Russo once again. Not showing signs of a bunt there. Yeah, it didn't square up on that bunt. Mm -mm. <coughs> If they still have the bunt sign on. Oh, it's gonna let them swing away. Just what the Lancers dug out said, heads up base running as the bobble by Donovan is costly and runners move over, move over to second and third. Yeah, that's a costly pass ball. In strikeout, we got the infield in, trying to cut down the tie and run. Tagged. Oh, yep. And then a gap. It's going to get both runs home. Easily. So, Lancers take a 3 to 2 lead. As Russo is into second base as well. Fortunate turn of events. What an interesting game this has been. Yeah, back and forth here. Big swing and a miss from Mr. Bouchard. Definitely could use a strike out here. At what point do you bring in the relief pitcher? Just let Robody ride it out. I was trying to see if I can see anybody warming up, but I don't think so. I'm not seeing anybody. It seems to be in Connor's hands. Bouchard had a big hit earlier on in this game. Let's see if he can bring in an RBI. Or at very least move Russo down to third. <laughs> Another good at bat by him. Yeah, he's had some long at bats today. He's a tough out. Not what you want to face right now. Went upstairs and got him to chase. Yep, needed that. Those pitches up always look good because they're right at eye level. It's LaVeyle up to bat 
for the Lancers. I believe he had a hit at his last at bat as well. Big strikeout. We can use another one here. Absolutely. Need another one after that. Yeah, that would help too. Yeah. Just fouled on the right field line. More good contact made, but right to the Spartans outfielder. <coughs> yeah, you got good wood on that, but or I should say metal. But basically right at that right fielder. Placed perfectly. Brings up Quinn Henry. I just need Connor to settle down just for one more batter. Yep. Get those bats back up there and see if we can tie this up or take the lead in the bottom. Nice slider, nice slider there. Full count. If he tries to elevate here, or if he goes back to the. Mm, that was up a little bit. <coughs> Lost him. He just lost his grip on that? Yeah, he held on to it. I don't think he lost his grip. Just held on to it just a little long. Mm. So two outs. Men on first and second for the Lancers. It's Torres up to bat for the Lancers. Slider out in the outside corner, had him chasing. Mm -hmm. Two two. Let's see if we can see if he can put him away. Uh, there we go. And he is able to. Okay, worked himself out of some trouble. Yep. Two runs allowed on that. Clutch RBI, two RBI for Max Russo. 
So the Spartans chasing the Lancers now three to two. Let's see what they can produce. Got the the harder the order sixth. coming up. Three, four, five. Batting third, number three, Trey Skeffington up to bat first for the Spartans. Once again, Hurley on the mound for the Lancers. More hard contact made, but it's up. Oh, nice catch. Yeah, grab is made. <coughs> the right fielder for the Lancers. Is that O'Donnell? So quick first out for the Spartans. This will bring up Sean Kroll. Quick two outs, easy play made over to first. It's not what you wanted to see. Cade Boydston now up to bat. <coughs> I jammed Sean on that one. Yeah, good take. Boydston faces three balls. Start the at bat. Finds a strike zone. We'd certainly take a walk here. Just snagged the outside corner there. Yeah, full count. On deck already in his catching gear <laughs> in case Boyson gets a strike out here is Donovan. And I'll take the walk. Draws a walk. So the catching gear quickly comes off and <laughs> brings up Connor Donovan. Just outside there. Mm, that's close. <coughs> Need to put together a couple of hits in a row here. Yeah, with Woodward on deck, the last at bat had that big hit. Mm, at the top of the zone.
Dropped a hook in there. On the outside corner. Nasty. Mm. Throws him on the deuce. So the Spartans in the bottom of the six have no answers for the Lancers. Is that rhyme? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even mean. You're a poet and you I didn't, didn't know it. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that was so good. No answers for the Lancers. So we'll bring up top of the seventh, and looks like they're bringing in Matt Griffin to pitch in relief of Robidoux. Yeah, Connor gutted through that last thing, so looked like he was getting a little drained. Good call here. So it's O'Donnell up to bat. First batter that Griffin will face. Shoots it the contact. other way. Nice piece of hitting. Meadow looking to put that insurance run on the board. Let's see what they do here. Try to generate a run. So it's Lopez up to bat for the Lancers. Really love to get an out here early on. Jump. Yep, slides in easily. Safe to second. Insurance run on second base. Well, there's a free base. Yep. Not something you want to see. O'Donnell down to third. Insurance run 90 feet away.
certainly not what you want to see. No. No outs. Men on first and third for the Lancers. And this will bring up top of the order, Brady Fellows. Looks like Coach DeFranco's uh, going to go for a double play here. Sacrifice the run. You get two outs. Lopez easily into second. Well, there goes the double play. <laughs> yeah. Infield in now. <sighs> Definitely a good thing that Roby's still not in the on the mix here anymore. He's long at bats by Long Meadow. down I think. Yeah, try to frame it but Okay, yeah. there's a big K. Yeah, there we go. Nakalini up to bat. For the Lancers. Where are we in the batting order? This is second batter. Your fellow is the leadoff, so that's a confidence booster. All right, I flinched again. Me too. Fisted one up the middle. Both runs will score, and McElhaney is in at second safe. That was That's a nice big. piece of hitting there. Ab. Brought his hands in nice and put that up the middle. Yep. Fought off an inside fastball. So the Lancers extend their lead five to two. Still only one out as well. This game's coming close to getting out of the Spartans' reach. Russo up to bat. Oh, another nice piece of hit. Mm. Taking it the other way. Hit so hard it couldn't score the run from second base. Yeah. Third base coach stops. McElhaney at third. Still mm. only one out as DeFranco steps out to the mound to have a talk with his pitcher. Oh, to me, I'm seeing a lot of fastball. I just think maybe uh, Matt needs to start throwing a little bit of breaking pitches. Mix it up a little bit more.
So it's Bouchard up to bat for the Lancers. Let's see if Flamino tries to advance the runner from first. Yep, there he goes. Got the throw off line. But. So men on second and third for the Lancers, one out. Need a K here, Ab. Really do. Need to get out of here with no more runs. Let's see if we can turn a rally. You remember who's due up for the Spartans? The bottom of the seventh? Hmm. I think it might be seven, eight, nine. Yeah, because Donovan made the last out. He's a sixth hitter. That's right. Bases are loaded for Jaden Lavelle. Lavelle? I'm saying it wrong. That could have been ugly. Matt's struggling with the strike zone right now. Last thing you want to do is walk in a run. I flinched again. <laughs> oh, I was ripped in the left field. Mm. Again, hit so hard, I had to stop the runner at third. <laughs> yep, but they do get the run in, so it is 6-2 Lancers. Long Meadow playing 90-foot baseball right now. Mm. Still only one out. Got to get the strike out here. The one's starting to get away. Quinn Henry up to bat. So they have King warming up in the bullpen.
with the inside fastball there. Yeah, you needed that. Absolutely. So this will bring up Torres. Two outs. Base is still loaded. By him. That was a tough inning. Yep. So Lancers lead by four. And we'll see the bottom of the Spartans lineup start the bottom of the seventh. And looks like Hurley is going to go for seven. So it'll be Woodward up to bat first. Had Spartan's best hit of the game, so that's comforting. He's still dealing out there, Abby. You're in the seventh yep. inning. Looks like those runs gave him a little boost of energy. As they should. Oh, there's a nice hook. Just missed the outside corner. Mm. <sighs> it got him to chase. Yep. Big first out for the Lancers. We'll bring up Don Burek. Oh, a bad up. Big break for the Spartans. One out, man on first. This will bring up Harding. Oh, yeah. Heads up base running and, well, listening to the dugout. Yeah, I catch you had a hard time finding the baseball. Yeah. Burek slides safely into third base, stealing two. Well, Still Mano one out. Vigis visiting the mound. It's a good sign for the Spartans. Got him a little rattle. I'm sure he's telling his team this runner at third base means absolutely nothing. Let's start with getting the batter here. And go from there. Yeah, for, from what we've seen from Hurley, though, hasn't been rattled all game. So he's got to stick to his game. And, of course, got the four runs insurance. So... <laughs> The outside corner there. 
Inside corner. Did I say <laughs> outside? Yeah, I was going to say. Sorry. Oh. So two outs brings up the top of the lineup in Dobek. And Dobek with the speed makes it into first base safely, and that brings in the run. Good hustle, good hustle. Run out of the box. So it's six to three, two outs brings up Robidu. Definitely gonna have Dobek still second here. Yeah, you never know. Need more base runners. You don't wanna make the last out at That's second true. base. Made yeah. the tag. Yeah, despite the dodge by Dobek, thought he just got out of the way. Had of the him. steal, brought the second baseman actually towards where the ball was hit. Made it an easier play for the second baseman. Yep. So that's the final 6-3 to three here at ELHS. The Lancers stunned the Spartans in the later innings. Heck of a game pitch by Will Hurley. Yep. Credit to Will Hurley going all seven. Through some great stuff. And we will see you at the next game. Thanks for joining me alongside my father, Don LePage. I'm Abby LePage. See ya.